In this question, it says a lifeguard water safety test is regularly given to thousands of people around the nation. Um, in our local town, the test was recently given to this group of students and the grades and gender are summarized below. Use these local results to estimate the true percentage by formulating the confidence level described below. So there's the chart on how our city, how people did at the lifeguard training in our city. So among the males, five of them got A's, 10 of them got B's, 16 of them got C's. Among the females, eight got A's, three got B's, nine got C's. Okay. Use a 9% confidence level to estimate P, the true population proportion of all female students in the whole nation, not just those who took the test in our local town, who received an A on this test. Da, 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 da. So how are we going to do that? Well, step one, we're going to go to the online calculator. And um, we're going to do um, the confidence interval. And choose the confidence interval for a proportion. I'm going to run around here. <laughs> and because it says population proportion. So step two, when you do, it'll ask you for N, X, and C, L. N is always the total, total number. X is the ones that, 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 well, the ones that did what you want, ones you want. And C, L has got to be a decimal confidence level. So what is the total number first up? What are we going to put in for N? Well, what are they asking us to find? the proportion of all females in the whole nation who received an A. So percentage of females in the whole nation who got an A. So how are we gonna figure that out? Well, if you look at the female in first, that means this problem has nothing to do with the males. We can just forget about the males and forget about the total. All we care about is the female information. So how many total females were in our survey? 20. How many do we want? What do we want? Those who got an A. How many got an A? Eight. Eight out of 20 in our survey got an A. What's our confidence level? 90%. So make sure that's a decimal, 0.90. So put those numbers into the online calculator and you will get these two answers, which means we're 90% confident that the real average for all of America, because this is, this is just our particular town, right? But based on these results, it gives us kind of a general idea what might be true, what is likely true for the whole nation. Makes us 90% confident that if you did, if you're talking about the whole nation of females who took the water safety test, that somewhere between 21, or that's about 22, huh? 22 and 58 percent of the females in the whole nation got an A on the test. How do we do that? Let me show you the online calculator. Oops, I'm getting there too fast. There we go. Okay. Online calculator. Let me go back here. Um, so here's how it looks. So you come in, you go, okay, I'm going to do number 12. Confidence interval for a proportion. Or it's not, not these up here. That are these are other confidence intervals. We're doing number 12. Confidence interval for a proportion. Click on that. There's the N. So the N total number of females in our study was 20. X is how many you want. What do we want? We want the eight who got A's because they asked us what percentage got A's. Confidence level 0.90. Make sure that's a decimal. Hit calculate. And there it is. There is the exact numbers. 2198, 5801. We're round that to two. Um, there it is. We're, we are 90% confident that somewhere between 22 and 58% of all the females in America who take the water safety test got an A. And so there we go.